Hey YouTube, just checking in. Uh, I was uh, getting ready to take off camping for the weekend, setting up my uh, auto feeder there. I'll show you that in a second. But I saw something that I was hoping that maybe YouTube could help me uh, figure out. I know it's something that was a little interesting, and I want to show it to you guys. Um, I have a good idea what it might be, but I really don't know for sure. So check it out. So I've noticed this in the last couple days, and uh, on the side of the glass is what appears to be some sort of egg. And let me see if I can't get the uh, focus right. There we go. It's a bunch of eggs that uh, appear to be in some kind of a gelatinous uh, substance, just stuck to the side of the glass. And uh, yeah, I'm interested in what you guys think about this. If you've ever seen it, Let me get closer here with the it's tough. There we go. So I'd say about twenty or thirty eggs in there. Now my guess is it might be snails, um, just because uh, I've got snails in here, and uh, not by choice, but uh, you know, picked it up over the years. And one led to another, obviously. And uh, just curious about uh, what, whether you think it might be snail eggs. I've never seen them before, except for uh, once before. And it didn't last long. It disappeared on, on some leaves. Um, any of those uh, uh, spit-type uh, eggs, you know, that uh, I think, what is it, garami? They, they put their eggs on the um, underneath uh, floating plants and whatnot. Uh, I... I Thought that might be it, but I don't have any garami, and I don't, I don't know what species lay and how they lay eggs. So other than the live bears, like uh, my Molly, that guy I rose, raised myself, I guess raised. Anyways, so I'm pretty proud of that guy since I, um, I made sure I took care of him, and he grew up from a little guy. But all the rest, I don't have any uh, egg experiences. So I'm hoping that you guys can let me know <clears throat> what you think. Is it? Uh, are they fish eggs? Is it really just a snail egg like I suspect? Um, but yeah, just curious. So, got my vacation feeder all set up here. I don't know if you guys have uh, used these before. I think they're, they're pretty slick. Uh, works great for me. I set it uh, uh, a couple a couple rotations in the morning and again in, at uh, night. And if you're wondering why it's uh, uh, at an angle here, that's just because the... Uh, the way it rotates, rotates this way. Uh, by the time the food comes out of this dispenser, it's roughly here. And so in order for me not to get it all on the side here, I have to kind of angle it like that. But other than that, it uh, works great. And uh, so I've mentioned in some previous videos that I'm kind of set to do a, a rescape of my tank. Uh, and I'm starting to think how I want to do it. I was on the Oregon coast uh, for some vacation recently and I uh, went hunting for some good pieces of wood. So <clears throat> gonna be uh, looking at how to use these pieces uh, and maybe uh, if I find some other interesting pieces along the way before I'm actually ready. Um, but uh, yeah, things are coming together. Well, maybe not really. I've got, a, I've got an idea, but that's about it. So Starting with this, I'll probably just lay it out and um, see what kind of, you know, in the dry, what it might look like. Uh, and then maybe order some plants online that I want to plant. I want to use a soil, uh, you know, an organic soil as a substrate rather than this uh, sand. And uh, really do a good job with it. So, so yeah, everything's going great since the filter change. I don't think I've got any old tank syndrome anymore. Um... My new sword tail and uh, Bozmani rainbow. Both are doing really uh, healthy, happy looking fish. And uh, yeah, everything's great. So let me know what you think about those uh, eggs on the glass here. Definitely interested to know what you guys think about it. <clears throat> and we'll talk to you all later.